Daniel Nisbet is now in the hunt at the Sahali Players Championship in Seattle. Dan, that's three great rounds. Get yourself right up there at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, thanks, Anthony. Um, you know, I had a bit of a rough start where I had one over in the first day and had a bit of trouble getting out to, to the first tee. had a um, problem with my alarm and stuff like that. So it was good to actually get off to an OK start, you know. So, um, I'm eight under after three rounds and in pretty good spot. I hope the leader is still to come in, but... You know, hopefully it all works out after, after the round. It's your second trip back to Sahali. You played there last year, had a reasonably good finish there. Are you going to draw upon those experiences tomorrow in the final round when you go out there to attack the layout? Yeah, absolutely. You know, this place feels like a second home to me. You know, I've, I've got two families out here that I'm really close with. And they treat me great, and you know, so it really feels like I'm at home. And um, I know the course well enough. I played it last year, and we've been here for a week, and had plenty of time to practice here. So yeah, just going to hit more fairways, more greens, and hopefully not the putts in. We are currently at eight under par. You're obviously putting the ball well and striking the ball well. What's going to be the strategy tomorrow as you go out in pursuit of this maiden U.S. title? Well, you know, I mean, it's not going to be any different to any other day. I'm going to go out there and try and shoot a good score. Um, most likely be playing with, with with the other leaders, and you know I, I, I try and keep myself paced and not not let them get me under too much pressure, and you know just go out there and try and make birdies and try and apply the pressure to them. You came across from the UK. You had a good effort there at the St Andrews Links Trophy. What were your expectations this year heading back to the US? I, I've, I've really been looking forward to the US, um, especially starting with this event. You know this event means a lot to me because I have such a close connection people here and because because the course is just such a great course so you know I've had really good preparation a lot, a lot of golf in the last six weeks and leading up to this event and you know hopefully tomorrow I can you know work out work out favorably well Dan we wish you all the best tomorrow it's a great effort to be out there in the hunt in your first US amateur tour over there best of luck and we hope to be talking to you soon all right cheers Anthony